Hello guys and welcome back to another one of our wonderful videos where we show how great our equipment is. So what you are looking at is a vacuum bubble leak testing system. And the reason this system is special is because this is a pretty large acrylic vacuum chamber. Um, we usually don't make them this large, uh, but from time to time, we have a request to make them a little bit larger. Uh, this acrylic vacuum chamber is about two, two feet by two feet by about 20 inches high. So that's why we decided to, you know, show off uh, what we can do and, um, you know, kind of show off all the cool features and why our vacuum bubble leak testing system is the best, of course. So, um, Let's uh, explain a little bit what this system does and um, what this is intended to do. So, so es essentially what you do is you fill up this large acrylic vacuum chamber with water and what you do is you pull a vacuum on it and then what you do is you look for bubbles uh, after you've uh, placed your specimen in there. So we have a... Um, of course, the acrylic vacuum chamber, it is all sitting on a frame structure, like an aluminum frame structure. And then here on the bottom, we have one of our more popular uh, vacuum pumps. This is an oil-free um, piston vacuum pump. Um, and of course, the advantage of that is that this vacuum pump does not require any maintenance and you don't need any oil to run it. And the cost is that it doesn't pull the side of a vacuum. However, in um, vacuum bubble leak testing, you do not need to pull a high vacuum. Here's another cool thing that we have that our competitors most definitely don't have and don't offer as a standard, is this uh, vacuum pump protection valve. So, a lot of the times you will get people, operators, um, and of course myself, I've done it myself, so I'm not uh, pointing any fingers at anyone, um, where you overfill this uh, chamber with specimen. And what you do is you pull a vacuum. What happens is that the specimen inflates and it pushes the water out. The water gets into the vacuum line and then the water starts going down this vacuum line into this pump. And if you didn't have this um, uh, vacuum pump protection valve, what would have happened is you get water straight into the vacuum pump and then that's it. You are fried, especially if you have a rotary vane vacuum pump. So um, what we've done is as a standard, we always now place a vacuum pump protection valve. And what happens is as the water comes in, it goes into this cup and then you have this ping pong ball, not exactly a ping pong ball, but essentially that's the whole purpose. It's a hollow ball and it goes up and then it goes up here and once the water gets all the way up here, it closes this valve, it shuts off the airflow to the pump and no water gets into the pump. So it protects it. So that's one cool feature that we have. Um, another cool feature that we have is that this system is on lockable swivel casters. And they're red, I know. Um, and also the floor is red. Well, actually the floor is pink because um, a couple months ago, one of our clients requested that we uh, paint uh, electrical cabinets pink. Now, why you would wanna have electrical cabinets pink, I do not know, but red on pink, I figured it's kind of romantic, isn't it? Okay, I'm just joking. <laughs> All right, well, uh, moving on. This uh, uh, bubble leak testing system also has two clamps right here. Here's one clamp, lid clamp, and here's another lid clamp that you essentially can open. You know, they get out of your way. Uh, another cool feature, of course, this comes as a standard, is a venting valve that you close when you wanna pull a vacuum. You have a vacuum adjustment valve that you can twist to essentially increase or decrease the vacuum. It just is, it's a bleeder valve that, um, um, essentially keeps your vacuum at a certain level that you adjust and then of course the vacuum valve so that is um, a couple of cool things that we have now um, you'll notice that there's a grill here this little um, acrylic piece that has a whole bunch of holes in it it's perforated so 
what happens is that it is perforated to let the air come through the air bubbles. But the reason that we have this piece is because we want, as we are doing our vacuum bubble leak testing, to keep our specimen submersed in water. So if you, um, essentially when you pull a vacuum, the specimen will inflate and it's gonna float right up. If it floats right up, then it's gonna be on the water surface and then you cannot see the bubbles. So this, we call it a package restraining mesh, keeps the specimen submersed underwater. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, open this bad boy up. Here it is. And then another cool feature we have is that we have these um, lid stoppers that keep the lid stopping uh, and open at about 90 degrees. Uh, it's a 90 degrees angle. And then you'll notice that this package restraining mesh is connected through these four legs. And essentially these four legs are adjustable, they're removable. So if you ever need to um, remove them, uh, you can do so. Uh, that is um, essentially another cool feature. Here's another cool feature that we have that our competitors do not do. And that is uh, our O-ring. It is really hard to remove. Why? Is it hard to remove? Because we have a V groove. So essentially the groove is V shaped and it keeps the O-ring inside. Everyone else, their O-ring keeps always popping out. Ours uh, does not pop out because it is essentially a V groove and it essentially tapers towards the top so it keeps the O-ring inside. All right, and then the way you, you get it out is that there's a little notch here. You take your screwdriver and you uh, press it in and then you can pop out this o-ring so that's another cool feature we have all right so i'm gonna use this stepping stool to kind of get up there like i said this is one of our larger systems that we generally make but to kind of give you an idea how it looks from the top is you can kind of see this clear acrylic you can see the bottom of course through the walls you can see through the walls uh, and then, of course, uh, at the bottom right here, and this, I know it's kind of hard to see now, but that actually is a, um, I mean, it's hard to see that this valve is on the bottom because, you know, it's almost like, uh, that's what I meant to say. It's almost like, um, it seems like it's uh, before the acrylic, not after the acrylic, because the acrylic is so clear, of course. Um, so this is our, vent, uh, our drain valve, and this will enable you to drain your water. Um, and right now it is closed and it's right down there. Oh, sorry guys. So you can see it from here, it's a drain valve and you can essentially connect a barb fitting. Let me see if I can come in from this one. Oh yeah, you can connect a barb fitting on here and then a hose and then you can essentially um, drain it. You can put a bucket right here, you drain it. Uh, that's what mostly people do. Or you can connect this to a drain, to like a water drain just like you would do your uh, sink. All right, so another cool feature that we have is that this chamber is fully removable from this assembly. And how do you do it? Is you essentially remove this one, two, three, and four bolts from this. And then this thing, this whole chamber pops out. Uh, again, why would you do it? I don't know, but it is a cool feature to have and uh, You can put it on a tabletop or you can just pop it out and then you can use this table to transport it um, Another reasons why another one of the reasons why you would want to have a uh, lockable swivel casters is that um, uh, You also want to you know keep in mind that uh, a lot of manufacturing places are lean manufacturing and Kzen they follow Kzen and so they constantly move stuff. Everything has to be, you know, portable and movable and readjustable. And that's why you want to keep it portable. And then also because when a plant is growing, um, they want to move this from one end to another. I mean, you, you guys know how it goes where you kind of move like 15 times per year because, you know, things are getting readjusted all the time. So um, let's do one more thing and let's close this lid. We have one, two, three lid handles uh, that you can grab from either the top or from the front to kind of make it easier for you to open this lid. Okay, so 
And let's, uh, you essentially just close this, lock the valve, close this uh, venting valve, open the vacuum valve, and I'm gonna close this vacuum adjustment valve. We're just gonna go and go full vacuum. And then I'm gonna just reach over here. You guys cannot see it, but I'm gonna get some extension cord, ta-da. Okay, how do I do this now? All right, hold this. I'm gonna hold this with my knees. Huh. I'm holding this with my knees, look at that. Yes, I do not have four hands. This is, okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so let's turn this bad boy on. That's the pump, it's on, and the vacuum is pulling. Let me show you guys. Bam. This is a dial vacuum gauge. It goes from, it's a you know, dual scale, kilopascals and inches of mercury. And it is pulling a vacuum right now. Let me actually focus it on right now. Okay, there you guys go. And there we go. So it's gonna take a minute or so to get to about 15 inches of mercury. It'll take about a couple minutes to get to about full 25 inches of mercury. Um, and essentially, uh, you know, this pump is, a, this whole chamber is uh, essentially empty. When you have water, you will decrease the volume. So the pump down time is gonna go much, much faster. All right, so um, this is pretty much it. And um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, oh, before I uh, let you guys go, of course, I wanna show another cool feature. This is a um, spring support, gas spring support. And what it does, it keeps the lid open. Um, it pushes the lid open. It is, it is not um, intended to, to provide force assistance to lift the lid, but um, it is intended to keep the lid open so that you can essentially keep the lid open hands free and then load your sample, load your specimen into this vacuum chamber, um, with both of you using both of your hands. Uh, so that you don't have to hold the lid, this lid with, um, up with your knees like I had to do with the phone earlier. So in any case, uh, this is it guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're at about, what is that? About 12 inches of mercury already uh, of vacuum. And this pump will go to about, like I said, 25 inches of mercury. So thank you guys for watching. And um, if you guys got any questions, let me know. Uh, we'd love to hear your comments. Uh, please uh, subscribe, hit the like button, you know, all the good stuff to give us some goody points with YouTube uh, so that we can keep making more of these wonderful, crazy, and entertaining videos. All right, thank you guys, and you guys have a good day. Bye bye.